Double lift got an article published in the Players Tribune. Not the first league player to do that. Faker had one a couple years back. Uh, so double lift talking about, you know, revenge against TSM and everything. But the main headline here isn't about uh, what he wrote in that article. It's the fact that Keith Olbermann sent out a nice tweet about this. Keith Olbermann, uh, formerly of MSNBC, now works with ESPN. He said, three years in, that's awfully early to have jumped the shark by publishing pieces by snotty rando kids playing children's games. Okay. Uh, snotty kids. By the way, the word snotty sounds so much more offensive than it actually is. I just, I don't want to be called snotty. You could call him a jerk or entitled, anything of these things that you might be thinking of when you hear kind of snotty, but it just, it's even grosser, just that word and that description yeah. for it. Um, guys like Liquid, uh, Liquid's Steve, uh, answered to this. Jack from Cloud9 responded. Mark Merrill, plenty of guys. Jacob Wolf from ESPN, they were all saying basically, you know, that, that great meme from uh, Homer's dad from The Simpsons <laughs> yeah. saying, old man yelling at clouds. Oh, uh, there was obviously a lot of backlash to this comment, but I think Keith Olbermann, that's kind of his thing. He just says things that know, he knows are going to stir controversy and gets people talking about it. And look at this. We're talking about it. Yeah, it definitely is successful in that regard, but he's the guy that likes to stir the pot more or less now, and he was, you know, admired back in his time at MSNBC for being, you know, someone with a lot of integrity to what he would say, and now it's kind of coming in as he's the guy that's trying to pick these fights, and picking a fight with the League of Legends community and esports in general, not a very smart call. And yeah, it does come off as a kind of an old man who wants to yell at new things, and it's not really the smartest of moves that you would have to think of. And let alone, you know, calling this a children's game doesn't quite fit. The League of Legends final had over 57 million unique viewers for the finals, and that is something that is over, you know, gets way over the Stanley Cup finals and even outdraws World Series games and comes close to equaling some of the lower rated Super Bowls. So this is a major event and something that shouldn't be just regarded as a children's game. And I think that Keith Olbermann has definitely missed the mark with his comments. Well, I mean, it is a children's game, but so is every professional sporting league, pretty much. They're, they're all kids games. You all play them when you're kids, so. Well, it, it's a children's game in the way that Lego is recommended for eight to 14 year olds, right? Like yeah. maybe it helps, but. Lego is timeless, man. Hey. That's always on my Christmas list for sure. Yeah, there's no age limit on Lego. Uh, getting into that actual article that Doublelift wrote, um, you know, I thought it was, there were some interesting points. Basically, the most interesting line to me was the very first line where he says he found out that TSM was looking to replace him via Reddit, which is... <laughs> that's a harsh way to find out. That's pretty harsh when you're that involved with the team. But I mean, for a guy like Doublelift, basically, if you didn't read the article, he's saying, ah, uh, he was upset The TSM let him go. He wants vengeance on him to be some mental Yeah, things. some real interesting conversation, you know, coming from this that uh, you saw that TSM really didn't have this confidence and, you know, something that you would expect from them with so many veterans on that roster, someone to really, you know, be able to step up in these moments and acknowledge that there's some nerves here, but that, you know, what you've proven throughout uh, you know, your terms in the LCS and as well as, you know, your boot camp leading up to Worlds, that you are a strong team and one that can do well at Worlds. And that just wasn't there for this team and you saw how much that that impacted them in their performance. And then one of the other great things that you saw from Doublelift is this is exactly a Doublelift piece. This is all you yep. could have ever expected from Doublelift. Everyone else is trash except for him. And it's what I love to hear from Doublelift coming into this season. Gets me a lot of hype coming into this TL and TSM matchup. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.